Here with a beautiful new Alfa Romeo Giulia Stelvio QV. I've driven the regular and reviewed that. This is the Quadrifoglio version, which is the Ferrari-derived engine on a lot of other tuning bits. I love those wheels, the carbon ceramic brakes, the vents up there. Uh, very aggressive looking front. Uh, no active air on this one like the Giulia. I found that kind of interesting, at least that I saw. Get the Quadrifoglio badging. Just a good looking SUV overall. Let's get it in and check it out uh, now. Uh, nice interior there. Look at that carbon. Very nice. Um, it's got the giant sh paddle shifters from the uh, st uh, Julia. Uh, it's got the carbon in there. I like how the screen is recessed uh, down in there. That's nice. It's got the leather. Oh, it's actually, it actually feels like it's leather up there. Uh, very, very nice. Um, very nice seats with the carbon insert. Look at how bolstered these are for an SUV seat. Uh, you can definitely tell this is like a Nuremberg ring setting SUV just by how sporty uh, everything is. It's got the little clover there in this trim. Loving that. Right, let's find the start stop button here. Oh yeah, it's on the wheel. That's right, because it's truly a sporty SUV. Pretty quiet uh, at the initial start. This is definitely a cool SUV. Um, I, if I was looking for a sporty, small SUV, I would definitely, ah, there's a Jeep back there. I'll let them go first. Then I'll go out after them. Uh, this would definitely be on my short list. Uh, oh, cool. It's got, so it's got a split leather and Alcantara in the steering wheel there. Uh, definitely kind of a unique feel. I kind of like that. Very cool. While I'm waiting, let me check out the stereo. Still still sure to join us, boss. Well, nice. All right, so you can tell this thing, at least outside, had a really nice exhaust. Now, uh, compared to the regular Stelvio, it is, it is definitely a more uh, aggressive ride, uh, but I don't have it in comfort mode. With the comfort mode, it's actually uh, not bad. Uh, very sporty wheel here. Uh, love that. Um, that is really neat. Um, love the vents. A very nice SUV uh, to be in. I mean, it's definitely if you want like the nicest interior, you know, Audi and Mercedes is hard to beat in that way. Um, but if you want like a very nice, but also sporty interior, uh, this guy is hard to beat, uh, you know, in that regard. Price of this, these actually aren't badly priced. I think Alpha is very competitive. Uh, they start at 79, even in this, you know, sports trim, which is really, really cool. And then this one, you can get it up to 92. The big options are the driving assist package. Uh, which has, you know, uh, all sorts of forward collision warning, you know, smart cruise control, etc. The Brembo uh, carbon ceramic brakes are eight grand. I would probably skip that unless you tracked a lot because uh, they're kind of hard to, to live with in everyday uh, life uh, and everyday, you know, driving. So uh, probably would skip that to a certain degree. It's really the bulk of, uh, you know, car plays like $100, which is fair compared to BMW charging like $50 a year, I think. Um, Carbon fiber steering wheels only a hundred four hundred dollars. Actually, I apologize. Um, and then if you custom order this, you can CarPlay and Android Auto as separate options, each at a hundred dollars. So I guess if you ordered this from the factory, uh, you could do it which it with whichever one you wanted. And then this metallic paint is six hundred. Uh, so yeah, pretty nice uh, in that regard. Uh, I'm excited to get this guy on the track. If I'm being honest, it is. Uh, the Julia definitely lived up to my expectations, which were high of it going in. And like I said, I didn't even plan having this hat on today. I just knew I needed a hat, and it was one in our bag uh, from them. Uh, you know, yeah, there's leather down here uh, with the carbon. Uh, you know, they definitely made this interior much nicer than, like, the regular Stelvio. And, you know, it definitely feels like it's, you know, something in that seventy, eighty thousand dollars 80000 uh, price point. So, very cool. There's better coloring. Ooh, let's launch it. Oh. <laughs> this is a quick SUV. It doesn't throw you back quite as much as like the Trackhawk, which in a weird way is, I would consider a close competitor to this SUV. But once those turbos hit, my God, is it quick uh, and flat. It feels, it doesn't feel that much different than the Julia, uh, to be honest. It just feels slightly higher, um, but overall not that different really neat really nice steering i mean i would say up there you know i drive a porsche as my sports car and i would say it's 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 up there with that it's very communicative very sharp especially in dynamic or race mode 
but man, it just, the time between corners and this guy is stupid ridiculous. Um, man, it is so, it's got the Italian flag kind of colored uh, on the gauges down there, which is neat. Man, the transmission is super aggressive. It's hard to believe this isn't a dual clutch. Um, I'm gonna create a little gap here. Start stop system kicked in. Let's kill, take that off. Wow, yeah, once those turbos kick, I don't know if you can hear that, it sounds so good. So, so good. Love these paddles, it makes you wanna ship for yourself and it is an incredibly fast transmission. Man, it just feels small and nimble around curves. pop on the, uh, when you switch gears, uh, here through the Fallen was fast, through the figure S. Jeez. Doing that like nearly 60 miles an hour, uh, which is actually one of the fastest vehicles I've driven out here today. Never mind an SUV, just vehicles overall. Holy cow. Brakes are so good. I definitely get why people like the carbon ceramics. I argue you probably don't need them, like I said, unless you track a lot. Just put some, uh, you know, uh, high temperature brake fluid in there if you're going to be tracking uh, uh, but it is neat to have man it feels so small and nimble you actually do forget you're in an suv uh, which i think would be the ultimate compliment uh, of this vehicle coming down the hill here i'm gonna brakes a little bit here uh, even though i left like a 20 second gap between the car in front of me you know i'm back on them gosh this is so fast this is so much fun. Uh, I mean, SUVs don't deserve to be this much fun. And it used to be SUVs were boring and you settled for an SUV. That is changing. You know, I've driven uh, cars like the SQ5, I've driven the AMG SUVs, um, uh, and you know, I've driven the uh, Porsche Cayenne uh, or Macan, I guess would be closer to this, but this is every bit as fun as like any of those, but um, it's a better value. I'm actually stopping here to leave a little bit of gap. Oh, so much fun. Such a good SUV. Oh, would I buy with one of these in my own money? Um, yes, yeah, <laughs> yes. Uh, I thought I would get the Julia, but then when this came out, um, this just offers you a little bit more practicality and it's also fun and sporty. And um, yeah, like once you start hitting the used market, uh, I would definitely get this. Like it, it kind of fulfills, you know, have, needing an SUV, but also needing something really fun and sporty. Be good rally car. Uh, it is fun. Uh, I miss this. I mean, you get a little squeak from the carbon ceramics. Uh, and we know, as, as you know, when they're thanks when they're cold, uh, can be a little bit tricky. Then definitely don't want to give this SUV back. Uh, that's rare. You know, you drive so many cars out here, you can get numb and kind of forget how how much fun they are. But this guy. I just want to keep driving it all day on the track and then take it home with me uh, at night, which I think is the ultimate praise. When you're driving like 20, 30 vehicles, uh, they all kind of start to, start to blend and mush together. Uh, not this guy though. So fantastic performance utility vehicle here. Um, just, just a blast, just great. That Ferrari drive engine. I mean, every single thing about this SUV uh, is just really, really cool. And I definitely, uh, definitely loved it. Don't want to give it back, <laughs> but alas, uh, I must. Well, next time my speedy racers drive on.